Hello viewers, this is Liva Buhai or Evelyn of Liva Buhai. Today I'm st standing here in my kitchen as, as you see that it's a mess, right? Uh, if you are tired, there is one thing you can do. Don't do anything at home. <laughs> and so today I just decided I will make some kind of vlog. And uh, I just want you to know that today I'm just a little bit tired. And I just learned it that if you're tired, then take the rest. Take it easy. It will not harm you if your place, your kitchen island will look like that. And like that. And your kitchen <laughs> looks like that, you know? Actually, it's kind of like uh, almost two o'clock in the afternoon now. And in the whole morning, I didn't do anything. I just said, I just said to myself, today, it's my rest day. But you know, it's just so boring if you don't do anything, right? You just want to do something else. So I was thinking, yeah, I can make a vlog. Today my blog will be all about sharing to you my plants that I have here in my kitchen window there. There's a lot of mess, right? But it's okay. So this is my kitchen. If I am washing here, somewhere else here. If I'm washing here, then that's what you see. So I will, I will show you how it looks like with all the plants that I have on them and why I have them there, okay? So here we are back again. This is actually the window here in the kitchen. So all my plants, as you have noticed, are not tall. Why? It's because it's so nice. One tip I can give you, if you have like this, a window, and most of the time, you wash your dishes there, right? There. Oh my God, that is the reality. This is kind of reality vlog, you know? I'm not cleaning it. That's how it looks like. When you work, you have kids, you come home, you are tired, and you're, you're just, you know, before I get affected on it, I get irritated. Oh my God, why it's like this? But now I will tell you, I can just go to sleep and then, and then take care of this later. And that's what I learned after I get burned out. That's what I learned. That is why I got burned out before. And it's because I am very particular that this has always to be clear. This is always to be clean. And it doesn't work when you are a working person and you have your, your kids and then you have projects you are doing. So anyway, back to my plants here. The reason why you put plants that are not very tall, it's because you want the view outside. You want that when you stand in front of your window, you still see the view there, especially if you have a window where you have a view of the nature and everything. Do not put very high plants in, on your window. It's because it will be covering it. But of course, if you have a window where what you see there is the other window of your neighbor and that you see your neighbor washing there too, then I will advise that the best thing to have in that window are high, longer plants or taller plants. But because here I don't have... I, 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 what I see, what you see is nature. So if you have a window where you have nature there outside, when you see, when you wash your, your, your dishes or when you do things, when you're cooking, uh, like if I stand here, that is where I cook. So if I stand there, I can still look outside and I see the nature. So if you have that kind of view from your window, do not put taller plants. Put these kind of plants that are short, like this one. It's actually a coleus plant, kind of, kind of a, a bonsai coleus. See, so as you see, I only have 
short plants here or small plants like my tiny orchids like you see this orchids this was the one i did a video about it before i do, i hope you remember and all of them they are actually small orchids they they don't they don't grow tall either and uh, this one is the same so the reason why i put it here because anyway it's like really on that area well it's covered by that and then again here as you see i have a buddha here you might wonder, do I practice Buddhism? No. The reason why I have, I have one boy, my second boy who is 14 years old now. When he was like around 10, 10, 9 years old, he was collecting Buddhas. I don't know why. And because of that, his grandmother, every time she will see a Buddha on secondhand store, wherever, she bought them. And I have, that is why in my house, I have a lot of Buddhas. I have this kind of Buddha there that is a gold Buddha. But this Buddha, there is something in it because it's actually laughing. And think early morning, it's dark. We turn on the lights and this Buddha is just laughing. And if, you, if it's your bad day and watching this Buddha, you can really think like, yeah, I should be laughing like him. I should be happy like him. <laughs> anyway, it just gave me a kind of sense of, uh, how do you say it? Inspiration that life is short. You should be happy. So this Buddha is a happy Buddha, and I just, I just love it. Even my husband, he likes, likes this Buddha. So we have a lot of Buddhas in this house, thanks to my son who is collecting them. And here is another kind of orchid, and it's actually, actually like a dark color. And this is actually the third time that it bears flowers. Now it's not opening yet, but maybe soon it will open. These, these are snake plants. Snake plants are very generous plants. They just grow and grow. You don't have to take care of them a lot of times. Sometimes they can get tried for a week. They survive. That is the good thing with snake plants. So if you're a person, you want to have plants, but you hate taking care of them, or you're kind of a little bit busy, or a little bit lazy, snake plants are good to have because they are very kind plants, you know? So as you see, it looks like that. If you wonder what is this, this is actually a dried flower, valme. We call it valmu. Ne, valmu. I don't know the English term. And then I just collect them and I just put it there. And as you see, I have more Buddhas here, you know. Here is another Buddha. So it's actually my son collecting them. And if you see them, they are kind of a sign of peace, tranquility. Here I have a statue. I actually bought it when, when we were we we had a vacation in Italy, in Rome, Italy, and that was like you know I think that was like fourteen years ago when I had my first son, and uh, it's the daughter and son Jesus Christ and Mary, and it it's just. This kind of things I have, it can just reflect. I'm not really a very, I'm not an, an, a very active religious person, but I believe. I am a believer. And it gives you something of peace in mind, you know. So as you see, a lot of people will wonder. I have some visitors uh, before I have actually taller plants here. And I, I totally, I took them when they grow, I took them out. And so I totally changed. So I, I was thinking that, yeah, I need some plants that they will never grow tall. And then I remember, yes, those tiny orchids, they are perfect because they just grow in, in, in width, not in length. So they will not be tall. They will be like that only, even if they get older and older. So this one, this one can grow kind of big, but then if it will grow very big when I will be transferring them, then that is the time that I will also be putting them. So as far as the view is concerned, don't cover the view. If it's a beautiful view from your window, don't cover it, but you can still put plants that are not tall. And, uh, but if, I will say it again, if you have 
uh, opposite of your window is also another window where your neighbor is also standing there and washing his <laughs> dishes, then that is the time that you can use taller plants so that you don't actually see uh, all the time and clearly what your neighbor is doing, you know. Instead, you will see the beauty of your plants. So that is how you do it. Anyway, I hope you like this video and uh, I will try that I can actually make I can actually make uh, videos or vlogs that will interest you. So if anybody here who is interested, my friends, I have a lot of friends here in YouTube already. So some of you, if you think that it's kind of interesting for you to watch, if I will do some kind of this kind of vlogging, which I don't usually do, I am much more on showing plants and anything about plants, whatever about plants, then just tell me because I would, I would be willing to do it. You know, I'd be willing to make those kind. So yeah. If you will see here, it's actually my, you know, the, this Christmas flowers. I forgot the name. Help. But they are already withered. Some of them, they're already dried. And that is another kind of work. I was supposed to do that. I have to take them out, take them out, and then keep the, 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 how do you say, the bulbs for the next, <clears throat> year you can actually save them but then as what i said i just learned a lesson if i'm tired i'm tired and if you're tired you take the rest so i take the rest <laughs> so today of course i will do these things and we'll see how much i will i can really really do today is a wednesday i don't work on wednesdays so tomorrow i will go back to work and so today i really need to rest because uh, sometimes if you had been having colds i don't know if that what colds i didn't do the test but it can be that i got the omicron <laughs> because all the symptoms i had it and i was sick for like uh i was at home for seven days out of work for seven days and it was so bad uh, that for two three days i don't do anything i just lie down my body was just so weak it was a very bad uh week and that was like two weeks ago so if you wonder people that i during those times i hardly have uh, videos i hardly do comments and all these things because I was just lying on the bed and cannot do anything. I was just totally tired and I cannot even, you know, just, well, I, I was able to just lie down and watch some interest, other kinds of videos, but I was so tired. I cannot concentrate to make comments. That is why those times I was not able, I know some of you, my friends was able to make uh, videos a lot of them but don't worry i'll go back that is why sometimes i know some of my close friends here in youtube they will notice it i may be silent for a while like they have two three videos and oh what happened where am i i don't make comments but when the time i go back to you i will try my best to watch all the videos that you make it doesn't matter if like I have a video, I made a new video. If you see that I don't have any video at all, but still I view your videos, I can view two, three of your new videos, I do it. Uh, but if you see that I was not able to make some videos and sometimes I don't make comments and all this stuff, and it's because sometimes you just, you just feel so tired and uh, you need you need your body to rest and your mind and i have to do it or else i pay for it <laughs> so anyway i hope that you like this vlog of mine and i will be trying to make much more of this vlog kind of so anyway see you again next time this is evelyn of leva buhai and uh, 
welcome back on my next vlog